made it to South Dakota, all the way from Central Florida. So our first stop in southeastern South Dakota is Sioux Falls Park. There's our little rig, Fred's positioning it so he can come join me down here. But uh, I could not go through Sioux Falls without visiting this city park. So let's take a look at this. I believe there's a restaurant up there where you can have lunch. It's six o'clock in the morning, so we are the first ones here today. There's the sun coming up over Sioux Falls. into this rest area just outside of Chamberlain, South Dakota, and they have this huge statue. I think that's Sacagawea, the lady that helped uh, lead the Lewis and Clark expedition. The Missouri River flows behind her. That's beautiful. find a spot up here. It's a Sunday afternoon. What time is it? Is it 11 o'clock? 12 o'clock. Sunday time. afternoon, 12 o'clock. We are camping right here on the edge of this 
cliff, just like they are. This is free camping. It's land owned by the U.S. Forest Service. No charge. We are set up here at the edge of Buffalo Gap National Prairie Land. Also known as Nomad's View Dispersed Camping Spot. It's pretty awesome. It's very windy here. It's a little intimidating having this little small teardrop trailer right on the edge of this embankment. First night here and we have Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. We have Publix bread all the way from Florida out here in South Dakota. So you always meet interesting people when you're traveling and these two lovely young ladies just walked over. They need some help yes. boiling some water. Yeah, and yeah. tell us where are you guys from again? from Wisconsin mm -hmm. and uh, in South Dakota right now so we're 19 so a lot of worried people at home yeah and this is where you're this is what you're traveling in right over there you guys are yep. car camping Kia Soul Kia. we're car camping sleeping right in the back so air mattress all the yeah. clothes on top yeah <laughs> and you're from Wisconsin and you're gonna go hit a bunch of national parks on the west coast yep yeah. how long are you guys gonna be gone for um a whole month a whole month yeah oh wow yeah, so this so, is only yeah. our first stop yeah. yeah, we left like two days ago, day and a half ago, so yeah, spent the whole day out here and then camping, found this place on the free campsites mm -hmm. website and then we'll head out to Yosemite, or not, I'm sorry, Yellowstone, Yellowstone tomorrow. Wrong why. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you guys have fun. We'll do. Cool. You too. So those girls, um, they had a problem with their little, um, portable stove and um, there's no stores around here so they they were out of luck they couldn't even make their dinner and this nice fellow up here in the Jeep I guess he heard that he heard us talking and he actually had an extra stove and he brought up he brought it over and just gave it to them so that was really nice it was good to see someone helping these young girls out that was very nice of him it's pretty amazing that the way that this looks just changes by the minute as the sun starts to set. We did turn our generator on to um, recharge the battery on our rover. We just want to run it long enough to recharge our battery. So what do you think about this place, sweetheart? Yeah, it's hard to believe that this was underwater at one time, millions of years ago. 
Because we're just out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. How was this possibly all underwater? Well, that's what the scientists say. I guess the discovery of these fossils. Yeah, all the fossils. Give a little credence to the theory. And we've heard that uh, the was the bighorn sheep sometimes make appearances. Hopefully, we'll get to see some. This is a herd of bighorn sheep moving through our campsite. It's Monday morning, 8 o'clock, and we have made it into the town of Wall. Very cute little town. Lucy, our little Jack Russell, had an ear infection, and we actually had to go to the vet this morning, so we found a very nice vet um, downtown Wall and got her little ear treated. The wind yesterday really aggravated it, so got her taken care of, which was our first priority this morning. And now we're going to go into Wall Drugs and get some coffee and check out their famous donuts. One great thing about being here so early is, look, there is nobody here. Other videos I've seen, this place has just been packed with people. This is fantastic. Welcome to Wall Drug. Well, what you waiting for, neighbor? Now drop a little cash in the slot below and watch old cowpoke Pete crush a customized penny for you. Go ahead, drop it in, and then make your selection. You're gonna love it. Bookstore. This is actually very nice. I thought it was gonna be a bit more, I don't know, gimmicky and junky. But they have really nice stuff in here. From what I've seen so far. <laughs> Beautiful little chapel. That's gorgeous. I guess some of these stores haven't yes, fully opened up. Come on over and let Zoltar be sharing with you oh. your fortune. Oh, Zoltar. That's Zoltar, baby. Well, hello there, man. You been here a while? This place is really something. Ah, oh, see, we messed up. We went to the regular restrooms. We could have gone to the deluxe restrooms. Hot dogs, pizza. This just says Wall Drug Backyard. Buckaroo Bill's Skinny Saloon. Look at that. Oh, we found the famous dinosaur.
This is kind of interesting. The antique bob wires. Different kinds of bob wire. Thank you. So I got a chocolate covered donut and Fred got a plain donut. We accidentally entered Badlands National Park through the back door. <laughs> and um, we're on Sage Creek Rim Road and we see all these little prairie dogs all over the place. I'm gonna go see if I can. Oh my gosh. When you get close to them, they go in their little hole. Let's get them. So this is where we are, Sage Creek Rim Road. We just went down this dirt road. I believe we are in the Badlands National Park. And there's little prairie dogs everywhere. I see them running around everywhere. <sighs> okay, so we're still on Sage Creek Rim Road. Prairie dogs and buffalo.
This is beautiful through here. Just beautiful. We're still on Sage Creek Rim Road, which is just an old dirt road out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And this is Badlands Wilderness Overlook. Fred's getting some water out of the truck. We're the only ones out here. That's the dirt road that we're about to go down. Dogs in the truck. There's no one around here. I was telling Fred this is like that loop around Yellowstone, except without all the people. This is amazing, but without all the people. So this is Hay Butte Overlook. Pretty awesome. So we are on the main Badlands Loop Road right now. You can see it's a little bit more popular. And this is Pinnacles Overlook. I see a helicopter in the distance. You can do helicopter rides here. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. It's a cloudy day. There's a lot of overcast. We've not seen the sun all day. Look at the colors in the rock. It's Badlands Loop Road. another overlook. Fred and I were talking about a long time ago when people would travel west with covered wagons and horses. Man, if they didn't plan their route right and they got to this area, oh my gosh. What a detour they would have to take, because there's no way you could get through this with a horse and covered wagon. And I'm sure many people traveling from out west got to this place and said, what in the world are we gonna do? How can we get across this? That's why they call it the Badlands. <laughs> you can't cross it. Got another viewpoint here. Looks pretty magnificent out there. Look at this ground. The ground is a little bit odd. I guess that's what all this is made of out here. You know, we're from Florida 
and they're always concerned about the building code and rails. <laughs> what about this out here? No rails anywhere. This is gorgeous. What do you think, baby? I see a settlement way over there. A what? A little settlement. Like a little part of the park or what? Like a little town or something? Yeah. Wonder if that's the campground. That's what I'm thinking. We're back in the town of Wall. We just can't seem to get enough of this place. I think we're gonna have a quick lunch here too. Nice t-shirts. I might get myself a, a hoodie. So Fred got their famous roast beef sandwich with mashed potatoes. I got chicken tenders with french fries. Pretty good. We're gonna go into this ranch store at Prairie Dog Town and get some food and see if we can feed these prairie dogs. So here's the prairie dog farm. I see my first prairie dog. Here you go, baby. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they won't let you get too close. But he did grab a peanut. That's cute. Let's go see if we can find another one. Oh my lord, there's a bunch of them over here just outside this fence. Okay. They are fat little things. This is fun. This is well worth the stop. A bag of peanuts is a dollar. And the man in the store is very nice. This is a great stop.
cooking dinner tonight. I used our Jackery to power the Instant Pot and I'm steaming some broccoli. And then over here, I didn't have a lid for the cast iron skillet, but we have some hamburger helper that I made. Looks pretty good. Getting ready to eat that. And watch the landscape change as the sun goes down. The two dogs love it here. They're having a great time. Fred's having a good time too. We really like this camping spot. I just told Fred, I think this might be one of my favorite camping sites so far. Everyone's so spaced apart and everybody is friendly. We've had several people just walk up and start conversations with us. They're from all over the country. It's really nice out here. This is a great spot to camp, absolutely great. And we've been here, this will be our third night and we're leaving in the morning. I'm using my 1-400 to 400 lens and I'm zoomed out to 400. That's as close as I can get to it. Yeah, I see him, but he's pretty still, he's far out, he's far out there on my lens. But I definitely see him. <laughs> 